Shifting focus to the United States. Now, on Wednesday, the United States Senate is expected to vote on a national abortion rights law, a process that is likely doomed to fail. Last week, a leaked draft decision signals the U.S. top court's readiness to overturn Roe v. Wade. Senate, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has called the leaked draft ruling an abomination. He says that he teed up the vote on codifying. The right to abortion in the United States, which the conservative majority court appears set to ban. We are here today because we are not going to let a bunch of extreme Supreme Court justices or extreme right-wing politicians take away the rights of 100 million American women. Uh, we are fighting the fight to preserve women's rights. So today I'm detailing my plans to hold a vote Wednesday to codify Roe into law. I will file cloture, which moves the bill tomorrow, and we will vote on Wednesday, and every American will see how every senator stands. Mm -hmm. They can't duck it anymore. The Republicans have tried to duck it. But the prospects of success in terms of a vote are virtually zero. The blocking power of the Republicans will play a key role in an evenly divided 100-seat Senate. Key legislation in the Senate almost always faces a 60-vote threshold. The vote on national abortion rights law will nonetheless put lawmakers on record regarding one of the country's most diversive issues. Republican-controlled states have taken steps to restrict abortion rights in recent months, given that a potential overturning of the 1973 Roe v. Wade ruling would give states the ability to make their own rules on abortion. The Democrats lack the necessary majority to push through codification. The only other option would appear to be changing Senate rules to lower the number of votes required to pass such a bill. But it is not just Republicans. A few senators in Biden's Democratic Party oppose such a move as well. According to a report by Pew Research Center, 8 in 10 Democrats support abortion rights in all or most cases. More than double the 38% of Republicans who do. Meanwhile, several conservative states are already shifting. The southern state of Mississippi will ban abortion except in cases of rape or incest or danger to the life of the mother. Republican Governor Asa Hutchinson, who said he is considering running for president in 2024, said rape and incest exceptions will continue to be part of the debate on abortion. The Arkansas governor also called for directing more resources to maternal health services. We want to increase the services for maternal health, to increase the uh, services for adoption services as well. And so we want to invest in those areas that will help those uh, women with very difficult uh, uh, circumstances of the pregnancy. Uh, but secondly, I think to your point, uh, the rape and incest uh, exceptions will continue to be a part of the debate. Uh, right now, uh, we do not have rape and incest as exceptions under the Arkansas trigger law, but there's, uh, I think that will be a part of the debate. According to another research center poll, about 61% of Americans believe abortion should remain legal in all or most circumstances. In Washington, D.C., people supporting abortion rights gathered in front of the Supreme Court building, protesting against the leaked draft opinion.